Hey folks, it's Kevin Madison. I uh, just wanted to show you how to run a regression and scatter plot and correlation in Google Sheets. So we have this data here, um, years and the number of publications about polar bears and grizzly bears. And the first thing I think that can be useful is just to visualize the data. So I'm going to highlight the polar bear data. I'm going to go to insert and choose chart. And another number of options are going to pop up. Um, this one actually I do not find that informative. It's the default, but it's just this jagged line connecting the points. Um, so you can click on chart types and you'll see a number of different options. But the one I'm going to go for, since we're looking at um, two variables that are numerical, is a scatter plot. And instead of drawing a line between these points, it's just showing the points initially. And we can make some adjustments by clicking Customization. Because I personally do not like the way this chart is currently laid out. So I'm going to delete the title because again I'm gonna I'm gonna put that underneath once I insert this into my paper. Um, this legend over here uh, seems redundant to me with the fact that already on the horizontal axis we have year listed and here we have polar bear number of publications per year so I'm just gonna click none so that's gone. Uh, scrolling down we can first make some changes to the horizontal axis. So you'll notice here that 2004, 2008, 2012, and onward, it's every four years is, is the way it's showing. And I actually think, um, you know, there's not that many years here in this data set. So let's include them all, if possible. So I clicked nine on the major grid lines, and that actually is showing 2008 to 2016. Uh, if these numbers didn't all fit and you wanted to them, you, uh, you could adjust them by slanting the labels 30 degrees. That kind of looks nice. Just to give a little extra space. Um, and then we can also adjust the vertical axis. Right now it's showing every uh, the tick marks are in every 40 publications per year. You could adjust that to be a little bit more. That's eight. Let's try and get something with a even number. I like that. 600 by 25. So that's a nice sort of break. Okay. And then scrolling down to the bottom, um, there's this option here for trend line. And I'm going to select linear and it's going to draw a best fit line to this data. So there it is and that actually you can see that that line um, does a pretty good job of approximating the data and this really will suggest suggest to us that this is going to be a significant relationship between the number of year or, or the year and how many publications showing that it's been increasing the number of publications per year about polar bears has been increasing per year since from 2008 to 2016. So let's click, click insert and we can move this down below. We'll have it there when we want it. But right now we also want to just see is this statistically significant. So um, there's a few different ways we could do that. One is there's a simple formula called CORL, which stands for correlation, and it returns the Pearson product moment correlation coefficient. Um, so I am going to select the year data, insert my comma, insert the publication number, and close out the parentheses, hit enter, and this number, when it's closer to 1 or negative 1, it means there's a stronger correlation. And here you can see it's 0 
And so this is a very tight relationship, we would say, between the year and the number of publications. So that's good, but it doesn't give us the p-value. And um, there are different statistical uh, uh, software that can give you the p-value for a correlation, a Pearson's correlation. For some reason, most Excel and, and Google Sheets just report the actual, what's called the R value or the correlation value that you see here. In any case, um, Google Sheets does now have a statistical add-on. If you click on add-ons here, you can add in different things. And I've already gone and added a Google Sheets statistics option. Um, I'm going to choose the regression. Right now, there's only just described data in regression. I imagine through time, Google might be, the, the developers might add more options here. But for now, let's just choose regression. And it says working. And then on the right side here, it's asking for a few things. One is the predictor variable. That's what you think is causing the phenomenon. So in this case, we're going to choose year. Click OK. The response variable is the number of publications per year. So we're going to click OK on that. And then there's a few other things, error family Gaussian regression. That means when you think the data is essentially a normal distribution, there's ways you can test that that I won't go into here. But this is often the default, although depending on your data, it may not be appropriate. Um, so do be careful with that. And then there's some other things like filters and labels that we're not going to mess around with now because I just want to show you the basics of how to do this. Um, so go ahead and click Create. And it's created this new tab called Regression 2, actually, because I, I ran this earlier. So this Regression 1 over here is the same data. Um, but you would see a new tab. It has the R square value in this case. It's, uh, this is actually the squared value of that correlation R value we got earlier. Um, but the interesting thing that you're looking for here is that there's a p-value for this regression. Here it is, and it is um, 0 0.0001, so it's highly significant. Um, you can see the intercept is significant, and the year as an uh, independent variable is significant. So you would report this and say the regression, there is a significant um, relationship uh, between the independent variable of year and the dependent variable of uh, number of, of publications per year. So that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. Um, there are some people that talk about the difference between correlation and how regression often suggests a causal relationship. And in some cases, um, some variables might not be appropriate to that. And again, there's fancier stats you should be looking at and things like that. But again, this is just for exposure to show you some things. So that's it for now. Hope this was useful. and. Uh, take care.